We are live. Episode 111 of the Bro... 111? Wow, when I say it out loud, that's a lot. That's that means that we've lot done 111 episodes. That means we've sat here 111 times. And times like, what, average 40, 45 minutes? That's wow, a lot of Wow, that's minutes. pretty impressive. Episode 111, we got some shit to talk about today. Um, I don't even know where you guys want to start. You sent me a video that I said there's no way that's real, and you said it is real. It's the Baby Gronk um, video, and it was... <clears throat> this interview, this podcast, these two guys asking Baby Gronk, who's a fourth grader, a question, and then the dad <laughs> says, "Wait, wait, wait, hold up, hold up," and then tells Baby Gronk what to say, and then tells the pro- the interviewers to ask it again. I said that's not real, and oh, apparently, yeah. it's real. That is a real human dad. Is that real? Yeah, he's been, dude. All these famous NFL players and people who have podcasts have been leaking the DMs. Have been like. Uh, it's baby is Gronk. he playing a is he playing a is he like i know i look f- so 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 dumb but i know this is gonna get us famous is that in going through his mind or is, is he like yeah i'm sure is, i'm sure that's going through his mind a little bit but it, oh it's, it's gross cool because the kid he's a big fourth grader so obviously he's gonna ball out because he he's just growing faster and if he doesn't have like a, they said he's gonna skip middle school and high school. Middle school, that's what to they go to the saying. NFL. No, not to oh. go to the NFL, but to train for just it train. And to, oh, okay. and to like get ready. Well, for he's it. not gonna be able to play school sp- sports. Don't you have to play like? I mean, there's not really like height. There's not really football leagues that aren't in high school. Maybe like that some. was one of the grossest videos I've seen. I, I think again, I think I'm telling you, get massages by baddies. <laughs> Bro. I had a. I want to slap that guy. Yeah, I, I have. Watched I also want to get him on the pod, though. I know we should get Baby Gronk without the dad. I don't think he would let him. There's no yeah. way he would let him. I know. I mean, that's so sad. That poor kid is. He can't say no. I, I guarantee that dad will fucking lose his mind. But just imagine how much pressure he has, and he's only in fourth grade. Like, imagine if he stops growing. Imagine if he's not this athlete that his dad is making him out to be. His dad's calling him Baby Gronk. He's calling him what like the next Gronk. He, where do they live? Are they in like I'm not, a? I'm not sure. Like, I, imagine if he's just like a hell in a mo- like he thinks he's good because he's playing against turds. Well, I think he's been doing these like big tournament like uh, camps. Like football yeah, these camps, camps and I because th- I've seen highlights of him and I mean he is an athletic ass fourth grader, but it's like who knows? Fourth grade. Yeah. So that is wild. It is hot. In here today, we are in a sauna. It is warm. It's twelve thirty Wednesday. Um, I just got done training. Just got done doing some fucking sweet ass wrestling drills, grappling um, with Ezra and Tim. Tim ran us through a, through a practice. Had a lot of fun. Um, is there good more fucking practice? Is there more danger to your camp now that you add like a? I know you always wrestle and everything in your camp, but now that it's really wrestling oriented. You nervous about any like? No, no, it's, it's pretty. I like. It's been fun. It's been really fun. I feel like camp's going perfect. We're still what nine weeks out. We still have a long I fucking think like time. Eight. I mean, today's the fourteenth. I think nine eight weeks would be eight and a half. Then probably. I think know. nine and a half, or is it eight and a half? I don't, I don't know. know. It's uh. Let me see. So this Saturday, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So, we got okay. yeah nine and a half weeks. We still have a long time. Yeah. Um, camp's been going really fucking good overall. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I got lifting a little bit later today with Brandon. Yeah, overall ten practice camp. I'd say has been ten out of ten. It's been fucking perfect. Um, yeah, we yeah. did a little fight reaction vid last Ooh. weekend. Charles Oliveira. I was God, think I was beast. He's he's my favorite fighter. My favorite character person is Conor McGregor, like all time. Favorite fighter, just when it comes to skill set, and just I mean we have a similar body type. Is fucking Charles Oliver. He is so fun to watch. So dangerous off his back. So dangerous on his feet. So fun to watch. That was a sweet fight. Good for him. Now I think he's beat everyone in the top five of that division. Really? Yeah. Well, was Benil in the top five? He's had to have been, I think right? Benil was five. Or, what a crazy win yeah. streak to not get a title shot. But, I mean, yeah. it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, I was thinking Charles Islam, too. I would be interested in that fight, even though Islam knocked him out and then finished him. I, I would still be interested in that fight. I would love to watch Charles versus Islam, too. I would, too. But, 
it sounded like, and I read it, and it must be true. I saw it on the internet. Internet's real. Charles Oliveira versus Conor McGregor, potentially, instead of Conor versus Michael Chandler. I'm all for it. I will, am all for it. I will watch Conor fight pretty much anyone. Carl, I call him Carl versus Chandler. I say it on how long. Connor versus Charles, I would do that fight gets me hard. Oh God. Connor versus Chandler too. Like I'm don't get me wrong, that's a fucking sweet fight. I want to see that one too. But if I had to pick Connor versus Charles, I would pick Connor versus Charles over Connor versus Chandler. Charles gets dropped a lot. Benil didn't drop him, which was kind of surprising. Yeah. Car- Charles gets dropped every fight. Con- God, I don't know. It just that fight gets me excited. Yeah. I would love to see it. I would love to see any of them. God, there's so many elements because it's like it, I don't see Ch- uh, Charles really going up to 170, but I don't see Connor making 155. So no, like, yeah, Charles would take that fight at 170. You think? No issue. Yeah, anybody will fight Connor at any weight. Give me the Connor fight. Yeah. God, that would be a huge fight because Charles is. He's a, a he's, earned, he's, a, he's a fucking he's he's up there. He's yeah. definitely up there. I wonder if uh, Connor's been. Staying healthy, you know. You know what I, mean? I wonder looks, if he's been drinking his AG one. He looks, looks like, like a it. healthy lad, man. I mean, he looks like he can do it all. He looks like he's drinking his AG one. He's supporting his immune system, mental clarity. What else do you want? I don't know, man. I mean, because, it seems like. You but you know all what? You need. It's not only for athletes. No, it's for everyone. Doctors. Doctors. It's not only a greens powder. I mean, they have it all. They have everything you need. Chiropractors. Chiropractors in the work. Plumbers. 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 Everyone's got to stay healthy. Moms. Moms. Moms definitely do. Yeah. So you got to go to drinkag1.com slash bromali, man. Get you free one-year supply of vitamin D, five free travel packs with your first purchase, and you get yourself on the track. You hear that? That's every last drip. <sighs> because you know why. There's just so many benefits you can get from it, and there's, it's cheap. It's affordable. Great reviews. Man, we love it. We drink it every day. I don't know. Whew. That's all I got to say about it. Make my it. head movement feel extra fast. I don't know if that's scientific, Jesus. but but go to AG1, Christ, drink AG1.com slash Bromalley, free one, your supply of vitamin D, and five free travel. With Come on, do it. You want to be healthy? Purchase. Do it. Uh, let's recap the tough. I don't know. <sighs> I'm People sweating. Need, yeah, me too. People need to tell us if they like when we recap tough, if you guys watch it, with what, because it, I, uh, there just hasn't been a lot for us to talk about, man. God, I know, I know. I think we just were overexcited, and that yeah. happens. You know, we were yeah. just overexcited. Connor's going to fucking knock out Chandler Twice. every episode <laughs> and spit on him and get drunk and throw a dollar. You know what I mean? He yeah. bought fucking action figures this episode, which we had already seen yeah. on clips. Uh, it was probably the highlight. Good scrap, though, I will I will tell you that. Um, now he, he falls to 0-3, Connor does, his team. They, they are struggling to get a win on the board. Hopefully we see some maybe some changes in Connor. Connor's next fight gets a win on the board. I think I can't remember who Connor fights or who's fighting next for Connor. I think the number 2 bantamweight versus Chandler's number 3 bantamweight. Is he on 3? Yeah, on <sighs> 3. Yeah, yeah. I fast forward, I skimmed through the fight. Looked like a good scrap. Um, really good scrap. I just it was weird. I was so I'm going to watch every episode live blah blah blah, but just because I haven't been eating, di- watching TV while I eat dinner, and I feel like it's live, like right around that time, yeah, ish us. or after, and I'm just like, man. No. So I haven't been watching it, and then I forget, and then I skip through it while before we do this pod. Um, but yeah, so I, I I didn't really pay attention too much to last night's episode. Um, Not a whole lot. Chandler's three and zero though, huh? Chandler's three and zero. It's any just, bickering back and forth from Chandler and Connor? Not too much. Not really. I don't even know if I saw anything really. Ah well. It's it's, it's just, a tough show to make fucking yeah. entertaining. I mean, it's about the fighters, and you know, about yeah. it's about them. Yeah. And but we all just want to see Connor fucking talk shit. So it's 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 tricky. And I haven't watched it recently, so it feels like it's so, so fighter oriented. I I don't know what I was. I expecting think it's always kind of been. Yeah. Uh, be. Maybe maybe the further because there's still a lot of episodes left. Yeah. You know what I mean? The ju- it could get juicy. Right. You know, it takes one episode for this guy to say, "Yo, your mom's fat," and then it just you know what I mean. Right, and then that would crazy. go crazy. Cause. Uh, but we do have some big fights, a big fight this weekend. Marvin Vittori, Marvin Vittori versus Jared Cannonier. Is that at the Apex? Fight night. fight night at the Apex, possibly, potentially, in the small cage, the small cage, the dumbest fucking cage I've ever... It's just... <sighs> for some make, big boys. It should be big cage only. Yeah. You don't see the NBA saying, let's do half court. You know what I'm saying? Big cage only. Get that small fucking cage out of there. Burn it. 
and put a big daddy cage in there, especially for these big boys. Jared Cannonier versus Marvin Vittori. Big fight for the middleweight division. Um, both guys have already fought Israel Adesanya. Marvin fought him twice. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a, it's that's an interesting fight. They haven't fought, right? No, Jared and Marvin haven't fought. I don't think both so. top what top five. They gotta be already right, top five. Ooh, Jared is a scary, scary human. Marvin has very good cardio, very good. He's good at grappling, good at making like a high pace kind of dirty fight. Jared's dangerous everywhere. Very excited for that fight. It is gonna be a fucking banger. I got Jared Ken here. Obviously, he's, he's a, our boy. Trains with us. I do like Marvin. I think he's a good dude. I think he's funny. I think he's silly. But I am going for Jared because he's our boy. I'm gonna uh, go Jared as well. I like Jared. Jared decision. I can't. Yeah, I can't imagine either one of them Ooh, being able I know. to finish one or the yeah, other. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. So I think it goes to decision. Is that Armin Tsuki versus Hakim Silva Komen? <sighs> yep, that's gonna be a sweet fight. I don't know who you. How, you don't know Hakim Silva. I know Armin Tsuki. That's fair. He puts on fun fight. I mean, even I don't even really like wrestling and grappling exchanges, but when he fights, yeah, they, man, they he makes it exciting. Hani Barcelo Barcelos versus Miles Johns prelims. Jimmy Flick your bean versus Alessandro Costa. Um, a couple fights on there that I'm not too familiar with, but uh, nonetheless, Jared versus Marvin, I'll be watching that one. That's probably the only one I'll watch. I'll probably watch Armin. Armin is fun to watch. I yeah. agree with that. I'm trying to see the odds real quick so we can... Uh... Speaking of odds, you fucking made... You put $2.50 down and won 350 bucks on some home runs yesterday? Armin's a minus 1,000 favorite. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, and, and he's then fucking good. Vittori Cannoneer's a pick em. Yeah, so I just was scrolling through Twitter, and I can't remember the guy's Twitter name, but he... Every once in a while, I'll just see something play on Twitter, and I'll follow it. And it was home runs, and it was... Uh, so he put three down, you followed all three? I followed all three. He did a parlay. He's like, tail this. And my dumb ass is like, I'm tailing that. $2.50 won me 300 And then I did a round robin. Why did you pick 250 Is that all you had in the count? No, 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 no. It was like a plus 10,000, like... I don't even know how big of the odds it was. It was just like... Well, I, what I did was, because I round robin it by twos. So I did... So there's three players, and the round uh -huh. robin is you bet two fifty cents on this guy and this guy. And if that doesn't hit, this guy and that guy. And then uh, I bet two fifty on all three of them. Sheesh. So I bet ten dollars total, and I won like five hundred total off of it. So, Damn. I mean, I don't even. I was didn't even really know, and I went to go look at my phone. And I was like, holy shit, because I kind of forgot I tailed it. But <laughs> Damn. Hey. I was, oh, uh, yeah, I felt good, man. Felt NBA's good. done, man. Prize picks. I'm sad, but you know what? I just said, I'll do some WNBA stuff. Yeah. Oh, I was a half a point away. I went and looked back at it. I, I, well, I looked at it and I'm like, oh, dude, that's in the bag. Celebrating, yeah. fucking chest bumping Danny. We did it. And then I look again like two minutes later and she, I, I thought the game was over. I thought I was just waiting to kind of like, and, that girl had must have scored and put me under. I went and looked because I was curious. She like in the third quarter she had a bunch of fouls. I didn't even play much in the third and in the fourth with like four minutes left she shot like oh. six free throws and I'm pretty sure that was what you needed or four free throws. And that sucks. So that one was tough. You. But you know what? I don't even watch the. I don't even watch the. I just watch Prize Picks. I just watch the app. I just click on it. I love seeing it in the green. When it's in the green, I am oh, happy. Golly. But I'm on a streak, a losing streak right now, so I got to turn that shit around, baby. I got some MLB, maybe some NHL picks. NHL's over uh, last night. God, um, Sam said oh, hit yeah. this. Again, this is the second time it's happened. Within minutes, it's, gone, it's done. Oh, Within minutes the no of goal. placing it. Yeah, oh. that hurts. That so that hurts. one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. So we got MLB. Um, WNBA. WNBA. There, there is UFC on there. I can't obviously play it, but you guys can. There's UFC on there, WNBA, but uh, just fun. I just used my intuition, and so far, so not so good. Started off hop. I did. I think I had that beginner's luck. Yeah. Latest released purses show that PFL fighters earn as little as three thousand dollars for a fight. Um, isn't that Jake promotion? Just jokes. Yeah. Um, I think yeah. I still think UFC is doing a good job. I know it's like the fighter pay and stuff but it's a business if you can't bring in cheddar for the ufc why would you expect them to pay you more yeah. i never I've, I've i kind of always been on that side it's like i don't is that loud as fuck or is it good the airplane I mean, they're gonna we got fucking russia looking for me and daniel dude sorry um yeah i mean if you don't bring in a business money why would you expect to be paid more you know what I mean? It is a dangerous yeah. you're fighting for your life and blah, blah. I mean, that is all true. But at the end of the day, you don't have to. No one, the UFC is not saying 
you have to fight. I'm sorry. You have to do it. You choose to fight, and if you're not making a lot of money, it's because you're not bringing them in a lot of money. Um, Israel Adesanya style bender documentary documentary to premiere on June. Wait. It's already, it's already out. Oh, it's out. It's out. Oh, cool. I didn't on know what? That. Yeah, look that up. I feel like I never Style Banner documentary. I bet that's gonna be sweet. I bet it could be really. Sweet. Everyone, I mean, he's been on a couple different podcasts. Anytime I hear anybody talk about Style Banner, they're like, "He's such a cool motherfucker." He is a, he's a unique dude. He's cool. Yeah. Um, he's I'll slick. Yeah, I'll watch that too. I still haven't watched Connors. Oh, I know. I know you're waiting. It's. I wait. I wait. Yeah, I'm waiting. Gonna enjoy I'm gonna watch Connor and Israel at the same time. Probably on two different screens with one eye each, going like this. Yeah. There you I just, go. you know what I mean. Right. People say you can't fucking. Multitask? Watch me, bitch. Absorb it all. What's it on? Did you find it, G? Um, no? It's all good. I heard it was on some weird shit, like freebie. No, wait, no. That was jury duty. Yeah, um, something. Free. I'll watch it wherever the fuck I was going to say, I haven't heard anything about it, so I don't know if there's... I haven't either. I don't think it's been promoted very well, so I'll take 5%. Israel Adesanya believes the story with John Jones isn't over. I don't like him. He doesn't like me. As much as I fucking love Israel Adesanya, and I, you know, I'm not going to say it's impossible for him to beat John Jones. John Jones is fucking massive right yeah. now. And he can grapple. Yeah. Look with, what Jan Blahovich did to Izzy at 205. I, if Izzy says, I'm going to go out there and knock him out, I'll say, hey, I'm right behind you, G. I like John Jones too, but. I know what John's ain't. John ain't getting any smaller than whatever the hell he's at now, and he's got to be big. Yeah, no, he's a big bastard. He's like fucking bigger than me almost. <laughs> Barely. It looks like that they didn't actually release it yet, but it was premiered at a film festival. But it's oh. going to be released, and they're trying to get Netflix to be the highest bidder. So they can oh, okay. Netflix's full okay. documentary. That makes cool. sense why it hasn't really been promoted yeah, much. Yeah. Sean Strickland is training with Alex Pajeta. Did you see what he said about He said hit, getting hit by Alex Pajeta is like nothing he's ever experienced. Uh, even after sparring? Or after yeah, <laughs> after sparring. That's what he came out and said. I'll have to find the Sean Strickland quote. is a unique dude. You know oh, what I mean? He, we've we've kind of giggled back and forth at each other, but that motherfucker's funny. Did you watch his breakdown? I talked. We talked about this on the Timbo Sugar Show quite a bit, so I don't want to say uh, his too much. breakdown. A breakdown of the last fight card. I don't watch women's MMA, but oh. it was funny, bro. It was like five <laughs> minutes. I watched the whole thing. It was hilarious. Yeah, he's he, been doing his podcast and shit. He's funny as fuck. He said the man touches you and you just fucking die after he sparring Alex Perez. <laughs> he's just yeah, fucking crazy. Did you hear his joke to Helen He? No. <laughs> Helen was interviewing her and. She said something about a, I can't remember. And he goes, "Didn't you? I'm just glad you didn't eat the dog, because Asians have a." Oh god! <laughs> and Helen just quickly goes, "Yeah, well, my dad did," and just keeps going. Wow! On. So <laughs> and just keeps interviewing. It was yeah. I have to send you the clip. That it's is pretty, pretty silly. Funny. That yeah. is pretty it's goddamn pretty silly. But I'm like, man, that guy is he's uncancelable. Really is. I mean, it, when you're in the UFC, it's you're pretty uncancelable, cancelable, cancelable. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, you'd have to. Colorado State Athletic Commission working on new scoring chart to help combat recent MMA judging controversies. I'm all for that. Yeah. I'm all for that. I mean, it's we're, we're, someone's got to figure out something. Like this is actually a really good idea, but it's hard, it's such it's so hard to actually implement it into UFC. But I feel like what no matter what they do, it can it's going to be better. Than oh this. yeah. It, it's maybe not. I mean. It, I don't know. It'd be hard to say. Can't well, get much it, worse. It, it can't because you have so many of these fights where like ninety nine point nine percent of the people are like that guy won, and then the judges somehow give it to the other guy. Yeah, it's just Sean like, versus Peter Young. Exactly. It's like what? really dude. chill. Nate Diaz dismisses dorks. Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje as being worthy of the BMF title. I mean, Nate Diaz is gonna. He's funny, bro. He's just gonna say what he does. BMF title. Um. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I liked it when they did Nate versus Jorge. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, BMF, Justin. I mean, it, it just it's weird because it's like, isn't the champ the BMF? Isn't Islam technically the BMF at that weight? Get, I think Nate versus Jorge was f- cool just because like neither of them were really, really by a title shot. It was just like kind of like West Coast, East Coast kind of. Like, it was just different. Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. I mean, if anyone's fight for a fucking BMF titles, those guys. Yeah. But still, it's, it seems a little weird right now. Islam roast Dustin and Justin BMF title fight the belts for the bums. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they are too. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's tough. I I like it. I wish they would do a little bit more with it potentially. Like if you actually win it, maybe you have to defend it because I feel like it's just. But been then, like what the fuck's with... the champ belt for? Yeah, that's true. Fuck, I don't know, man. It doesn't really make much sense. I think it's it'd be. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um, did you see uh, Floyd fight that Gotti three or whatever, John and it turned Gotti into a little brawl? Or, yeah. Is I John Gotti a boxer or a fucking actor? 
I have no clue. I didn't even know what that was going on. It sounds like Did he's a part of the guy? mafia. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm like, damn, is this my fucking the movie guy? Or what the fuck? I don't know. What the hell? Turned into a little brawl. Um, Floyd was ready to go just in case, though. A fucking gangster. And then Connor, you see what Connor said? Uh-uh. He tweeted like a video and he said, I'm, he's like, I'm fucking riding with Gotti or something. <laughs> <laughs> I what watched is it? it. Just the, the oh, the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, was, that was crazy. It was decent. Um, Connor punching that mascot. I still don't think. I mean, dude, the guy probably got hit a little bit. There's probably so much padding. Connor wasn't throwing. The dude probably had a headache or was trying to get some money or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think that was like. Uh, they took it way out of context. I know. Emergency I thought, route. Like I thought it was a fuck? joke. I'm pretty sure I saw something that it said. He was treated with very mild. They give him fluids, and he <laughs> left the hospital. But yeah, yeah, they did try and blow the hell out of that. It wasn't even a good punch, really. I know, right? They could have taken right? it without a mascot head. Yeah, for real. Huh? Russian promotion mixes Mortal Kombat and MMA in bizarre tournament format. Damn, I haven't seen what was that about. Mortal Kombat. Basically, doing like a. It's like part of the tournament aspect. Uh-huh. It's based off of the Mortal Kombat game. So it's like this weird like video game connection into the thing where they're they're combining it with Mortal Kombat. So it's a tournament. So you go through it and fight multiple people that night, uh, just okay. like Mortal Kombat. Wow, that sounds very dangerous. PFL four medical suspension. Marlon Moraes handed indefinite suspension following seventh straight loss. What? The end came at just over three minute mark in the opening round when Moraes was flooded by opponent Gabriel Braga. Moraes received a mandatory six day suspension. Did you watched it. Tired of the man. What? TKO? No. It, he. Didn't really look like he get, got hit that hard. He was looking for a way out, maybe? No, I mean, I think it dropped Early him. stoppage. Oh, it's just his chin's gone, his head's yeah, gone. Yeah, it, it was like a straight jab that just kind of, like, sat him down and then TKO'd. But yeah, sad to see, sad yeah. to see. I mean, he retired, right? I stayed retired. Yeah, him. okay. I think after that. Yeah. Corey so, Anderson, what? I want to talk about UFC 292 a little bit. It's coming together. I don't. I know you haven't seen see, a lot right of these now. fights. I mean, uh, I remember seeing it. I'll be like, well, I don't remember Just that. today got announced. Hands of Steel, Jeff Neal versus Ian oh. Gary. Oh, really? You yeah. 290, 290 or 292? Your fight card. Oh, my card. 292. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have Rob Font versus Yana- Song Yadong. I like Yadang. that. I like that. Chris Weidman, Brad, Vidar- Brad Tavares. And then Wei Li Zhang versus Amanda Limos. Cody Garbrandt versus Mario Batista. <laughs> I'm excited for that Jeff Neal versus Ian Gary fight, man. Ian yeah. Gary, that is. That is a big fight for both those guys. Ian Gary, that would be, his. I think, his third fight in like eight months. And he's Damn. been, he's been uh, Good for him. it'll be sweet that it's in Boston too for both oh, of you guys. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. I, I feel like that's really going to bring I'm out a little the more Irish. I know. Just I know. Jokes. I need to do my 23 and me. I keep fucking forgetting. We'll on. do it. So then you can have something to say because I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, Irish as fuck. For your like heritage. 17%. It's I just hope product. I'm a little African, dude. Yeah. I do. Just, yeah. I just, I think I'll just, I think I'll be more confident. Pre-sale tickets just dropped, by the way, for UFC. I think they're sold out. Right, damn near. Really? Yeah. Fuck nice. P- I mean, people, people are going saying, crazy. And over they those. were expensive. People yeah. were saying, I well, mean, "What do you expect? It's the goddamn sugar show, baby. Let's get it." No, I know this. This is gonna be a really good because it is a good card, but it's not that crazy. There's other than you and Aljo. There's good fights, but it's not like another title fight or yeah, another, another big, big co-main name. event. Yeah. I mean, I guess there is another. Me and Aljo are... Ca- well, I guess I we'll Wei Lee, sorry, but... I'm ca- confidently carrying that one. Josh Emmett, Ilya Tapori, I know we kind of talked about these bouncing around, but that fucking fight is going to be so sweet. That fight's going to be sweet. It's going to be so fire. I don't, let's, I don't want to talk too much about too many fights too far ahead because then we can't talk about them again. Yeah, that's true. I was just excited to see... Uh, that's going to be a real test for Ian Gary. Jeff yeah, that actually... Good. That's a, yeah, that's a good fight to announce. And... That's going to be a sweet Boston. Corey Anderson reveals biggest difference between fighters, treatment, and Bellator versus UFC. When I look back at it, it was, wasn't that a song? Look back at it. It was kind of like penitentiary over there. Anderson explained, cellmate number, what's your number? You know by a number, you're not by name. They know your name unless you're Conor McGregor, Sean O'Malley, John Jones. I threw my name in there. <laughs> um, I thought, I thought UFC, even when I was... Not really a name yet. I kind of came into the UFC a name from the Contender Series, but I feel like they always took very, very good care of all the fighters. Made everything was very fucking organized. I don't think Bellator is like that. I don't think PF. I bet if I had to bet money, I think UFC does it in every aspect way better than any other promotion. They have it fucking dialed in. And even like I've had like Brandon go on fight trips with with other people in Bellator, and he's like, dude, it's just UFC's different. It's just really? next level. Yeah. There's a lot of people to be organized by. Dana White shuts down rumors of Kamaru Usman versus Hamza. Targeted fight. What? 
Let us have some fun. Let us dude, fucking man. hope. So Hamza's just done fighting, huh? He might as well be, dude. Hasn't she doesn't even we don't even get news about it. Yeah, that's I mean I imagine we're gonna get him in Abu Dhabi in October, but I have no clue against who or even if, really. UFC fighter Sean Strickland felt like homeless man with special needs in restaurant interaction. I should rethink how I dress. I walked into Starbucks and the girl said, can I get you a cup of wa- a water cup? But like she was talking to a homeless man with special needs. I could see that. I could see Sean Strickland walking in and someone thinking it's like a homeless mental guy. I, could, I mean, just he's got one of them faces. Yeah. I like mean, he's like that close to being Down syndrome. But he's not. And he's deadly scary. You don't want to fuck with him. I don't want him. Javier Mendez. Charles Oliver earned right to be number one in line for Islam Makhachev. I think so. I mean, I like that. I thought it was fire. Yeah. I mean, I don't see Connor fighting anytime soon. So give me Islam versus Charles, the rematch. I Actually, Henry's tweet made a lot of sense that Islam's just too good on the ground. And Charles likes to play defense from the ground. Charles would have to go in with a game plan. I'm not going to. Go to my back that yeah. easy. I'm not going to give up. And if he does, he needs to try and get up quickly rather than trying to... Well, he just needs to not get there. And if he does, then he's... Yeah. He's so dangerous off his back, but Islam's so good at passing from guard to half guard. And then once he gets into half guard, he's so fucking tight and strong that yeah. it's going to be hard to get the motherfucker off you. He needs to work on getting up quicker and against Islam, in a sense, because that dude is scary. Yeah. But yeah, feed me that rematch. Oh, I'll eat it. Con, uh, Kanye West birthday party featuring naked women at sushi trays and interesting guest list. Um, I did see this picture floating around with the women as sushi trays. Smart. Would you get in trouble for licking her boob? Oh, wow. I thought, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know you were a human. I thought it was a sushi. Tray. Tray. She looks hot. You know what I mean? It's I mean, that would be like, a, what if you got a pee? What if you got a fart? What if you have to fucking... You have an itch. Like, you have a lot of sushi on you. That's an issue. Uh, is that clean? I mean, it looks like there's a tray over her bush, at least. I'm assuming she has a bush. Um, the guest list? I didn't get invited. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. <sighs> Gotta win uh, something. How Mark Zuckerberg har- harnessed jiu-jitsu to run meta better? Your ability to keep doing interesting things and your willingness to be embraced, embarrassed. Through his dedication to jiu-jitsu, a physically demanding discipline that humbled him as a beginner, allowing him to grow and learn from being kicked and looking stupid. Uh, you don't get kicked in jiu-jitsu. Uh, Maybe. I, dude, that's so fucking impressive for him to go out there and just do a local tournament. It's so cool. Just to fucking sign up, go do it. Not make, like, just under the radars, go and do it. Yeah. So that was pretty fucking cool. It's hard for just the average person to even go to jiu-jitsu. People are so scared to even go to jiu-jitsu. Imagine being one of the most richest people in the world, like kind of a nerdy guy. Well, and It's fucking sweet. Mad props, man. Mad props. John Wick, director, details how Kina, Kinan, Kinu Reeves, Keanu. Keanu Reeves found training jiu-jitsu to get in fight shape for the Matrix movie. Jiu-jitsu is the sweetest fucking sport in the world. I'll say that till the day I fucking die. Cron Gracie blames bad advice for UFC 288 loss. Claims he tried pleasing the jiu-jitsu community. Dude, it's bold. that's uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how to take that. After praising UFC fighter for using his invented guillotine, BJJ goat Gordon Ryan trashes his critics for crediting John Jones and Nate Diaz with the maneuver. Oh, Cody McKenzie did it. Nope, that was a different guillotine. Oh no, did different Tony Ferguson like that? No, he didn't. That was a different guillotine. When Ryan appears this, to seed some ground on the. Possibility that maybe he didn't invent the high risk variation of the guillotine. He stressed, huh? I don't really fucking know about that. Guillotines are fire, though. No, uh, no, your new, no, your news source. Alarming report finds 50 AI powered content farms producing daily bulletins. Mm, that's fucking pretty crazy. Oh, did you see uh, Aljo, uh, Dana bought Aljo a Lambo? Yeah, I didn't know if that was like real. Champs rent with champs. Champs rent with champs. That was posted by a luxury car that was, rental. Yeah. So I would imagine those that was around the same time Bro, that the, Dana bought him a Lambo. That's the same fucking Lambo that Connor pulls up to when he's in Vegas. It's a rented Lambo. Um, champs rent. Yeah. I mean, it's just not a. Uh, Aldrich trying. 
He's trying. I got my Lamborghini sitting right there. I don't got to bring it back to the, to the lot anytime soon. So, uh, it's just, hey, keep doing you. Keep fucking trying, dude. I like Aljo. He's funny looking. Corey Anderson reveals big... Oh, I already read that one. <laughs> no phones, no TV, no music. Joe Rogan learns about the boredom in Tough House. Amid, oh, yeah, when he was talking with uh, Jillian Roberts. Jo- Jillian Roberts and Roberts. Robertson, I think. Robertson. Damn, that would suck. Dude, six to... What was it? Six weeks? Eight weeks? Whatever? Yeah, I think Fuck, so. no fun. No nothing. That would be terrible. Ooh, that would be... I would do so many Sudokus. Uh, I mean, oh. that house is sweet, though. Or at least the yeah, house on this. Yeah, just walk around and be like, damn, look at that. Whoa, the stairs. Oh. Yep. First Andrew Tate talk podcast out of jail. Could watch the intro. It's fucking sweet. I am excited to watch this. Um, did he really do a free Darren Till? That's funny. Um, Andrew Tate, what what pod was that? I'm going to click on the link. BP or... Uh, Bet David. Yeah, Patrick Bet David. Yeah, that, they did the four hour podcast last time. That was so good. This yeah. one I've I've listened to about half of it so far. It's fucking insane. I had like seven million views when I saw it last. Oh, fuck. It's crazy. Um uh, yeah, I listen yeah, Andrew Tate. He's just fun to listen to and it's 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 fun to hear him debate against people that want him to be wrong so fucking bad. Because he's so smart, he's so good at chess and he's so he just he he out he has an answer for everything and it's fun to listen to him debate. I think I saw something that his the charges got upgraded to something else. Really? I don't know. They're trying to take that motherfucker out for real, for real. Basically, on that he was gonna do his emergency meeting today, which is like his his live stream yeah. he does, and uh, he got taken into court or decot, I think is what the police in Romania is called, and they basically like kind of threatened him if he was gonna do the live stream, is what really? it sounded like. That's so they're not wanting him to chit chat at all. No. They're probably hating that he's going live. I'm sure. God damn it! Apparently, they have the prosecutors in Romania have increased the severity of the human trafficking charge against him. It's so crazy. I mean, if you think if they have, if they, I mean, if they have something actual evidence or something real, they would post it. They would talk about it, right? Well, not necessarily, because then if you're giving away your, you're giving the defense an opportunity to. Well, I mean, they're lawyer. I mean, they, you ha- legally have to. They're, I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be public. But yeah. His lawyers would have to have that information. And yeah. But his you, lawyers would tell Andrew, and Andrew hasn't been shy on saying anything. Yeah. Uh, Dad texts me. He said this Robert Renski, or how do you say that? Renski? He, he said Rosinski when he was Oh, Rosinski. That looks right. Robert Rosinski, some kid in uh, Montana, looks like. Uh, did he kill someone? I don't know. That's it sounds like he killed someone, and he's telling people that uh, I told him to or something, and I planting drugs on him. You need to stop that shit. I know, dude. I know, I know. Let the guy be free. That's but, wild. I'm like, damn, motherfucker be on some good shit, though, for real. If he thinks, like, that's yeah. his reality, yeah, he's we're like, hanging out. And I, wanna, <laughs> I, mean, I want some of that shit. I want to fucking hang out with me, too. I'm a cool motherfucker. He said you got a chip in you that makes you tough as shit. Oh, yeah, and he said I have a chip in me. That's why I'm able to fucking be so tough, which is a compliment. I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that big time. Um, 48-hour deadline for Connor to get tested by USADA to be able to fight Ch- Chandler. Remember we were talking about the day oh, was coming yeah. out for Dana, and Dana was explaining that? Fuck. Uh-huh. They're giving him a 48-hour deadline? That's what this article says. Makes, I mean, for them, I, they're... I wonder if it's a deadline to fight Connor or it's like a deadline, obviously, to fight on a specific date because they have a card on a specific date. Oh, yeah, because they do I think, have that card in December. Yeah, I think December's, what, six months away. So they're saying probably, like, you need to fucking make, yeah. get in the pool. I think because it is, like, December 19th or something was the Damn. day they have. That'd be sick. It'd be good. I mean, God, it, was, it would suck, though, if he got back in the pool and then got tested and failed and then he was just out. That would be tough. Yeah, and then he's, like, true. suspended or whatever. Oh, shit, it's flag day today. The fuck's that? Um, I'm not really sure. It's a U.S. holiday, though. Flag day? Yeah, I just saw it on the calendar. Damn, should we take a minute? <sighs> should we take a minute to, I mean, represent? Are you sure it's not F-A-G? Is there an L in there? Oh yeah, it's flag. Okay. What is flag day celebrated for? Commemorates the origins of the United States flag in 1777. 1777, the good, great, great war. The great civil civil war. Nearly 250 years ago, June 14, 1777, the Continental Congress approved the design of a national flag. Wow. That's a big deal. It's a big out, fucking deal, man. Shout out I'm going to tat- I'm gonna get it tatted. Uh, How many stars are in the national flag? 52. Nice. 
Minus two. <laughs> um, Danny ordered a bunch of these like fake tattoo things because I think she wanted to see how a couple looks. And there's a giant third eye one. Oh, I said, dude, put it I right here. I thought that was real at first. Well, I wanted the. She put the big one on me. She put, there was a smaller one that I like, kind of liked, but she fucked it up. So she had to put the big one on me. And I'm like, oh god. And yeah, people have posted it, and they're like, please no, please no, yeah, please no. Was... I'm like, all right, fuckers, I won't do it then. No, I wasn't gonna. I just did it for fun, for shits and giggles. But uh, it was kind of fire. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. not the third eye right there. I didn't talk Michael, about. imagine. Oh, dude, he, he would be like, dude, I'm going. I fucking, I think some shit's going on. H e double L. Kind of like, uh, I want something there though. It just it makes me ugly and it makes me fucking humble. Cause right now, not humble. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I think I went out to uh, look at uh, the final walkthrough on my house. And what do you think? Um, yeah, it still looks the same. It's gonna be exciting. Right now, it's not as exciting just because I'm so focused on August 19th, so focused on sp- each day individually. But I know after the fight, once we get, once we move out there, and I can get my chickens, maybe get a couple goats. I'm gonna keep the cow. You are keeping. Yeah, keeping the cool. cow. She was a baby. She's almost two. She'll be two in July. She's due to be slaughtered in August for beef. And I'm like, God, I'm just. I don't want to. I, I can. Buy different cow beef. Like it doesn't have to be her. Let this let uh, her live. I'm like, little. well, maybe I'll get her pregnant. <sighs> no, not me. Actually, fucking her. I know that's what people think, but maybe. I guess you can stick your arm in her vagina with some uh, sperm or something. I'm not really sure how it works, but I told Danny I ain't fucking doing that. You know what I mean? Like I know we're in an open, but I ain't fucking <laughs> no cow and shit. Yeah, don't do your arm at least. Just like. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep her. Maybe get her pregnant. Uh, so she'll produce milk, so we can have milk, eggs, you yeah, know what I mean? And um, baby cows. And, well, I think they have one at a time, so we'd have a baby cow, which would be kind of cool. They have cool. miniature cows that are actually cute. Yeah. Um, I, big cows are cute, too. Yeah, she's not that cute, but I feel bad when it flies. Like, oh, oh, but you can, I saw this guy on TikTok, he was like, it looked like a paintball gun, but it wasn't, it was like a fly deterrent thing, Damn. so he was just shooting the cows with them, but then the whatever would hit him would stay on him, and it would like deter the flies away, so it was kind of I cool. wonder if you had to shoot it on her, or you just put it on him, or shooting it was just fun. Yeah, I think it was just fun. It was like a little, it was like, well, not that just powerful. Fucking little he was, bullet. It was like one of the, like your uh, little. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Or little toy guns. But I think it's going to be fun to go out there. It's going to be cool. It's all grassy, big trees, and uh, it'll be cool. Maybe get some goats. I don't know. I'm Those just thinking. goats. That actually wasn't a bad sound. Effect. That was good. <laughs> uh, but my chickens are going to love it out there. Turbo. God, he would get fucking lost out there. Yeah. No, I'm going to have to make sure he's fenced in and make sure when we irrigate, that little fucker don't drown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, he's a pretty cool dude. I like hanging out with him. How are the chickens doing with the heat? Chickens are doing good. I have to go out there all bunch, check on them. i still been juicing, making them veggies. Nice little cold treat for them. Freeze some watermelon, throw it out there. They fucking, dude, you put some watermelon out there or just like a... Slab of it? Bro, they, it's gone. Like, really? to the, like there's not a little bit left. Damn, Looks that's like exciting. Looks like Tim at a fucking steakhouse. Like, that thing licked clean, G. Damn, are they producing the eggs yet? Not yet. It takes a while. It takes a while. But when they do, those are some small ass chickens, though. I must have got some small breeds, which is, I guess, they do better in the heat. So that's why we got them. And I didn't know that. But yeah, they do better in the heat because they're small. Fucking making omelets all day. Oh, dude. It it sucks right now. I mean, my camp, I'm only eating eggs Friday mornings, which kind of sucks for my meal plan. But I don't think they'll really be producing eggs for another couple of weeks, maybe even a month or so. So after my fight, dude, I'm going to be eating fucking eggs. Egg, eggs. egg breakfast, egg salad, sandwich. Oh, dude. Eggs. Eggadillos. Ooh. Oof. You know what? I've, I've talked about this before, and people think I'm crazy, and I'm hoping you know people have tried it recently. No, don't. Peanut butter toast with a runny egg on top. Bruh. I could eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, dude. I would go to a steakhouse, and if they had that, I would get that over a steak. What? Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> Sweet and it's so just. You haven't tried it yet. No. You can't hate it till you try it. I'm I, not I don't even, imagine I'd hate it. It doesn't sound like it's I bet like you the would worst like concoction it. ever. But I bet you would like it. You know what I mean? What but I you tolerate? also don't like chocolate, so it's hard to. You fucking don't really count. What, what kind of eggs? Are we talking like fried eggs or just a runny or egg, or baby? Just runny fucking egg? runny or egg, easy, whatever they're easy. called. Yeah, just a runny egg on that bitch, dude. It's yeah. so far. I'm craving it right now. I wish I could eat it for real, for real. God, would it? Mm. Yeah. Did you see those new gloves Sandable made for me? Those are sweet. Oh, fucking hey, mate. Are they selling them? 
I don't know if they're gonna. I, it's funny they've done the orange ones. Remember the orange kit with the orange shin yep, guards, yep, orange. Yep. Those were fire as fuck. They didn't they didn't drop them. These ones I'm not sure if they're gonna drop them or not. Um, but they, yeah, the puffies. I don't know if they're making shin guards too. But they're just they usually just do some some specific things for my uh, fight camp. So that's pretty cool. Uh, shout out Sandable. Yeah, they are sweet. Use uh, fucking coach Sugar Show uh, for all your MMA needs: shin pads, headgear. Fucking shields, kick pads, fucking mitts, fucking gloves, 14s, 10, 8, whatever you need, sandable.com, sandablesports.com, Brad. We got um, Jorge Masvidal said that he was going to box Jake Paul, but the UFC didn't let him. And that's kind of why the Nate Diaz fight ended up happening. But they're, And then also, they were going to do 10 rounds, is what Jake and Nate agreed upon on Twitter. Oh, I saw that. I saw Jake and Nate agreed upon that on Twitter. It's easier to do it on twitter but legally are they going to be able to do that their lawyers we'll see uh is it still in texas i mean so far right still in texas jorge said that like recently because he retired right yeah it it was recently and ufc said they weren't gonna let him out of his contract yeah that's what that's what jorge was saying he said they never wanted to let me go do boxing oh so he was probably saying like yeah before his last fight he was gonna fight jake i think jorge has a better chance uh against jake jake's looking good looking powerful yeah. boom, 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 looks strong guarantee he's fucking focused guarantee yeah. he's dialed in that loss against tommy was was uh was huge it was good for him i'd say um, so I think he's going to be dialing. He's going to be focused. I think Nate is too. I think he's going to come down to who wants it more. Uh, I would love it for it to be 10 rounds. That'd be fucking sweet. I would be. What is it? What is it? Eight. eight. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Eight rounds. It'd be sweet to be sweet. Ten. I guess I saw, uh, Logan's competing at WrestleMania or WrestleSlam or SlamFest or some wrestle stuff the same fucking day. Damn. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Timing. Well, I guess they, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. Talk for a second. I got a text. <laughs> I was going to say that uh, Jake and Jorge, they did that podcast together. Did you listen to any of that? I don't know. Well, I guess you're texting. I didn't, I didn't listen I didn't. to any of that. I saw Jorge come up to Jake. Jake I didn't, I'm like, okay, I don't What are they doing? Yeah, was this I, a publicity stunt too? It was just, and then they did the podcast right after. Yeah, so it had so, to have been. Which kind of turned me off, I ain't going to lie, for whatever reason. I was like, yeah. oh shit, maybe there's real beef. And then, I wonder when Jake and Jake's gonna release the one with Aljo. I wonder if he's kind of waiting for it to be closer to the fight, or if it just sucked. And he's like, God, dude, <laughs> this is so bad. I can't release it, or what? Um, I bet they'll do it closer to the fight, probably. Yeah, yeah. But did you? Wa- I didn't watch Jake's video. I went to the Fantasy Factory. They made a fucking like four million dollar building or some shit. Oh, I did see him and Logan went in on it together. I didn't know they released a video. I just saw a picture. Fuck, of it. that's sick. I bet the place is so sweet. I still want to go out there. I still. I mean, I. I mean, you know, they they offered me to go out there. I would love to go out there after this fight, but I keep Costa Rica, right? Puerto Rico. Or Puerto Rico. Fucking idiot. Costa Rica. Puerto Rico. Anything, man. Heritage. Apple. Air, a little bit. I've been just still fucking binge watching Kill Tony. So funny, dude. So funny. I love it. Love the stand up. Hans Kim. It's funny as fuck. David Lucas. They just go back and forth roasting each other. And I've, it's funny because I've been watching back. I like went back a couple years, two, three years, and I watched like closer and closer up today. David Lucas got thick, bro. He's, really? You can tell he started making some money. He got them fucking Schmitty good. jeans. Oh, he yeah. be eating good. Eating looking lobster. thicker than a snicker. Mm. Man. For him. Jokes. That's why, yeah. I mean, um, That's funny. It's crazy. There's this one guy with uh, that can't talk. He fucking just texts and does stand up comedy. Funny. Um, that would be hard. So he has like a voice mess like that. Yeah, he just types it and then he puts his phone on a speaker. So he has two different speakers or two different phones. And one. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Funny as fuck. Um, That'd be hard. It's such a good show, dude. Imagine us doing a fucking comedy, like a podcast. It's hard because we're not comedians. Well, I'm, I am. <laughs> anyway. Um,. I've been wanting a Corvette lately, dude. No, just nah. I really have been, but also I wouldn't. I would be. I'm like, God, you can't really go from a Lambo to a Corvette. That's what I was gonna ask. Like, what, what makes you want a Corvette? I love a the new Corvettes. I think they look so fucking sweet, dude. Sweeter than the Lambo? <sighs> kind of look like a Lambo. They do look like a Lambo. I just, I don't know. I just really like them. I feel like people would make fun of you. I think so too, which I'm not. I don't really care about. Too much, like, look at me. <laughs> look There's at me. Enough to make fun of. Yeah. Well, I mean, what would they make fun of me? Ah, you, you fucking aren't rich. I'm like, well, As you say. it's not true. Yeah. Um, Jamal Hill said that he's tired of waiting on uh, Yuri for healing, like oh, the shoulder. Yeah. So he wants to move on to somebody else. 
oh. potentially. Who would even be? Because Jan and per- Pereira, that's in the works, right? Yeah, I mean, True. that's it. That's happening, right? Jan versus yeah. Bond. Um, I don't even know. Did Izzy means. say if, if Alex and him fight again, it'll be light heavyweight to fight? Did yeah, he say yeah, that or did, Alex said that? Say, no, uh, Izzy said that. Yeah. Damn, I would feel like Izzy would want him to have to cut down to 185. Because that, that's where you lose a lot of that yeah. brain juice. Like, yeah, like Aljo fine. cutting. And, you know, you lose some juice. You can't take the same shots as you can take, like, in sparring or in camp. You're 160, 165. Boom, you get hit. You eat it. You got to cut weight and then fight the next night. You know, that's that, that's when people get knocked the fuck out. And uh, so I, I would, I'm surprised Izzy wouldn't want Pajeda to have to do that. Because yeah. 205? I mean, he's still have to cut 20 pounds, still have to cut a lot, but Way I mean, that's than... 85 to 205. I ain't good at math, but that's more than fucking 19 pounds. It is. <laughs> it is indeed. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that, that was, that's surprising, but also, is he a fucking gangster? Is so. he is a gangster? Aljo, I find it funny that he keeps saying he's going to take you out in the first round because he couldn't even finish TJ in the first round with one, with one shoulder, one arm. That TJ, me, yeah. TJ's that the was like a top comment on something. Really? So, I, I, I did see that. I seen the headlines. Aljo says he's going to take me out in the, top in yeah. the first round. I mean, you better fucking hope him. he does, baby. Yeah. Better hope he does. I think people are, a lot of people are saying that just because of the, the style comparisons of you and Corey and that he, he got Corey in the first because of. Yeah, I mean, so. there's it is what it is. That's a small cage, big cage. Does play a different different oh. game, baby. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, I think. Boston, August nineteenth, tickets are on sale. Not probably anymore. They probably sold the out, oh, man. That's just the pre-sale, isn't there? A sale, sale. Yeah, the, the full sale's coming out. The pre-sale was just today. So okay. pre-sale is like a certain amount of tickets. Yeah, it's basically you have like a subscription, and then you could get pre-sale tickets. Oh. To make sure you always get a ticket to yeah. to events. It's like Damn, so the bucks. pre-sale pre-sale price sold out fast as fuck. I don't know. I, I don't know if so. it's sold out or Probably not. Probably not. I don't know how it works. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many, I don't know if they sell out the venue with those pre-sale or if they only have like yeah. Five, I wonder. Dollars. I wonder. Uh, I'm excited. We got some. We got the summer drop dropping in a couple weeks. The sugar summer drop that should be dropping soon. We got the sugar fight kit dropping a couple weeks after that. That's always fucking lit. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna be doing a happy dad sugar collab merch drop. I don't know oh, when cool. they're gonna drop that, but that'll be. P- fire i'm hoping they can change the red and happy dad to pink Woo! some fire ideas there brother um i'm pumped i'm pumped i can't wait to fucking slurp a happy dad after i ko aljo um Boston. i'm sure we're gonna do i'm sure the happy dad full send elk boys are gonna be out there we're going hard um so i'm sure we'll plan some fire shit for after i know first time you're not in vegas i guess the abu dhabi one but yeah, I would, that was crazy. That shit was crazy. It's like, be weird partying in Boston. Yeah, Boston, man. See if All they the turn up. See if Boston oh, turns I'm, up. <laughs> bruh, I'm sure they do. They're fucking Irish. A tea party, baby. Fucking ace. Um, what else you got on the agenda today? What do you got? I got lifting later. What do you got? I just I took a test this morning, hit the gym this morning. I'm going to just fucking go home and study, grind. Damn, I took a test today, too. COVID test. <laughs> Joke, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Um, you see, they might start uh, making people wear masks again. I saw some shit. Bruh, that shit is wild. When Ain't you, no way that's going to work for I the get, second time. People I get my news it. from Joe Rogan, so. Well, I'm, he'll say it probably. That motherfucker knows. <laughs> no, it's crazy just hearing about like the COVID and the, and the vaccines and how it literally just comes back to money. It's not about who's safety. It's not about this or that. It comes about down to money, which makes yeah. sense. I mean, people are fucking greedy. Um, it, it's wild to think about. So that's why I don't think about it. <laughs> you hear it? But, uh, I've been still just binging fucking, uh, I, I listen to like all the Rogan pods. So like, I'm pretty up to date. Oh, how is the <laughs> one with Theo? I haven't listened to it yet. Bro, Theo is so funny. I'm excited. I thought, I mean, we talked about it last time, but you don't, don't say I haven't listened to it yet. Dude, just don't say that. Just say, I'm not gonna I'm listen going to, to it. listen to that You're one. not. I, half the time, I Bro, don't listen to any of your shit. But no, you ain't listening to the Theo one. Yes, I it's will. It's like six pods old now. It's a I long time ago, dude. No, it's now. funny. The thing about Theo is you can go back and watch anything, and it's just funny. Yeah. He's a legend, but. It's getting pretty toasty up in this yeah. bitch. I think we're going to call it right there. It's about oh, 50 minutes. Uh, you know what I'm saying? DrinkAG1.com slash Bromali. Check out SandableSports.com. Get yourself some shit. Um, Daniel's fucking chiropractic. If you guys need chiropractic, if you guys need crack, he's already graduated. He's fast as fuck. Yep. I'm same. hot as shit. Yep. Daniel moved to Dallas. <laughs> Austin or Dallas? Dallas. 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 <laughs> Cowboys. Hey, but uh, that's about it. Episode 111. Next episode will be 112. You know what I mean? That's just simple math. Dang, dang. We out. Doses.
Those are the mimosas. Those are the mimosas. <laughs> Holy fucking A's, boys. Yeah. Then you go rinse off again. My God. <laughs>